Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. So in this session, I'm going to talk about as part of the step-by-step -step OpenShift 4.x deployment process, and we are in the implementation procedure. So within the implementation steps, one key question is how to establish trust between vCenter 8 and OCP, OpenShift Container Platform Helper VM. Okay, so we are going to establish the trust between these two VMs, VCV, vCenter server and helper VM. Even if you just quickly recall our solution architecture, within our solution architecture, in our previous session, I talk about how to generate a SSH key pair for connecting our OpenShift cluster nodes. And now we are talking about how to establish trust between vCenter and helper VM, these two. Okay, so first I will log into the vCenter server and I will generate the certificate. And this certificate has to be uploaded to our helper VM and copy to the certain location. And finally, we can run the update CA trust command. Once we run that command, the trust is implemented between these two VMs. And there are few commands are involved. I will show you the commands in the following slide. Okay, so the reason for establishing the trust is once during the OpenShift installer, it will create a folder within our vCenter and it will utilize one tag category, one tag, and it is going to deploy the bootstrap node, master node, and worker node. All these are configuring through vCenter server using helper node VM. So that means wherever authentication is needed for the password free authentication, we are using the SSH keys. Okay. Now let's quickly recap our pre-implementation steps. Now we are already familiar. We validated platform infrastructure, vSphere 8, and we configured DNS, DHCP, and we already downloaded OpenShift installer files. Now we are good to talk about implementation procedure. With as part of implementation procedure, in our previous session, I talk about how to generate a key pair for OpenShift cluster node SSH access. Now I'm going to talk about the second step that is how to add vCenter root CA certificates to OpenShift helper VM to establish trust. Okay, so this step, in other words, the key question is how to establish trust between vCenter 8 and OCP helper VM. So the command I am going to show you now, the command, sir, the first command is wget https vCenter IP search slash download dot zip hyphen hyphen no check certificate. The meaning is we are generating from vCenter server certificate and it is generating as a download dot zip file. And this once it is generated, this zip file we are going to copy. Copy means secure copy SCP command hyphen PR. We are copying this download dot zip file, copying to the helper VM and we are copying to the directly to slash root directory location. Once it is copied, this file is zip file. So we have to unzip that file. Once it is unzipped, we have to add the extracted files to the slash etc pkica trust source anchors. Within this path, we have to add as per the Red Hat recommendation. Once it is added to update our system trust, we need to run the command update iphone ci iphone trust extract. Once we run this command, finally, the trust between vCenter and OCP helper VM has been established now. Okay, so as simple as that. So this command, uh, just let me log into our lab system. We can run one by one. Okay, so the commands are for our easy understanding. I copy to the notepad plus plus. So let me copy the command and just paste it in our vCenter server SSH session. So vCenter SSH session I already connected. So if you see the host name, when I type host name, this is vCenter server and type the first command wget http vCenter server IP address search download.zip hyphen hyphen no check certificate. Now press enter. So if you see here, it's connected to vCenter server and it is generated the download.zip file. To verify the zip file ls space hyphen al, you will see this file is generated already. Okay, now we have to copy these files to the our OCP helper VM. In order to copy, we are using the command SCP command secure copy. So this is the command syntax. So SCP PR download.zip and we have to type the OCP IP address. So let me retype this command and change the OCP helper name to IP address. Our helper VM IP is 192.168.2.0. 
two four three dot forty six. So we'll double check the IP is correct or not. Log into vCenter, see the helper VM IP address. It is ends with forty six. Okay. So now connect to the same server, our VC machine, and we can paste this command. Okay. Copy the secure copy command. Copy and log into the vCenter server. We are just moving these files to the helper VM. SCP secure copy our helper VM IP slash root directory. It is copying. Okay. Now press enter. Once we press enter, are you sure you want to continue connecting? We can type yes. So now it is connecting to the helper VM. So it take a while to copy to the associated network system. And in the meantime, we can connect to the helper VM and we'll see the helper VM status. Let's say this is the helper VM OCP helper. And let's type LS space hyphen L. And the file is still not yet copied. It's taking time. I'm just usually it will be very quick. Let me retry again. So IP address is correct. A zip file name is correct. OK, syntax is almost correct. So now press enter again. I'm just checking the connectivity status. It is in the connected state and even in the vCenter also in the connected state. So connection wise, no issues. And let me duplicate this session and we'll see the connectivity status. And I'm just pinging the VM 192.168.243.46. So it's pinging. So IP is no issue, it's already reachable state. And even let me try from the helper VM. We'll try to ping. 192.168.243. vCenter IP is 45. So it's able to ping and I'm just checking the 44 AD server.
it seems AD is not reaching. OK, let me check. Connected state. Seems something wrong in our AD system. Okay, let me type the IP address. 168.243. IP address is 44. And this IP is 255. Something IP is missing here. So let me re enter 192.168.243.254 and 127.0.0.1. Click on OK. Let me disable and enable again. Somehow IP is missing here, so I just re-entered. OK, now it is connected to the domain. Connected state. Let me check the ping status now. Yeah, now it is prompted for password. So the password is HPE. I think AD system has some connectivity issue, so it's lost the connection. Let me retry. OK, it's connected. OK, we got the error with our AD system have some connectivity issue. Maybe due to that reason, it's unable to access. Now we are successfully copy the SAP command. So even if you can check the ping status from OCP helper VM, we are able to reach the AD server. So some unexpected issue on AD mission. So sorry for that. Uh, let me connect back to our command. So the, this step is completed. Now the point is we have to unzip the download.zip on our worker VM. So connect to worker VM, which is the IP address is OCP helper VM. So clear the screen. So this is OCP helper VM. When you type host name, OCP helper. Now first we can verify whether this file is copied successfully or not. See the file is copied successfully, download.zip. So if we plan to unzip, so the command is same, easy, simple command, unzip hyphen download.zip. So let me copy the same command, copy and paste it here on the OCP helper VM. So unzip the same download.zip file hyphen D download. OK, so. Maybe some space or. It is saying unzip is not working. Maybe the capital U. Sorry. Unzip dot download dot zip. Hyphen D. Download. Yeah, now it's work. Sorry for that. There is a case sense too. If it is upper case, it's not work. We have to use lower case unzip. OK, see it's already generated the certificates all under the set one. If you want to see in the segregator manner, we can just type the command TREE -E, tree command. When you type the tree command, you can see all the certificates dedicated for three operating systems. We can use for Linux, Mac OS, Macintosh operating system and Windows OS. But in our lab system, we are using helper VM is a Linux. So that means we are using the Linux related VMs uh, files only we are going to use. This certificates are important for us okay so now as per the recommendation steps uh, red hat says once this is extracted we have to add those files for our helper vm to the system trust so the command is cp certs we have to copy in this path so let me copy this command and go to the helper vm and let me clear the screen so the command now is 
copying the specific SAT files, whatever the files we have in the search, I'm just copying the Linux files only. Linux star, copying to slash etc, pki, ca trust source, anchors. So now press enter. It says search.linux is showing as some issue. Maybe that reason is maybe we have to call, uh, move it to the search location. So let me see ls. It's already in the download location. So that means we have to change the directory to download. Now when you type ls, there is a search. So let me run under the command here now. It will copy now. Okay, so to update the trust, we have to run the command update space update hyphen sorry ca hyphen trust space extract. Okay, so once you run this one, the trust is established between OpenShift helper VM and vCenter server. So let's quickly recap our slide. See the last command I done just now update hyphen ca trust extract. So now the trust is established between vCenter server and OCP helper VM. Okay, so and the next slide is this the implementation procedure. Second step is completed just now. Okay, in our next session, I will show you we can create one directory, a working directory like mkdr one directory, and we can unzip our whatever the installer files we already copied previously. We can how to unzip those OpenShift and installer installer files, and we can create a install hyphen config ML file. So these three we can done it in the next session, and finally I will show you the deploy the OpenShift cluster. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.